This is a quick story about instance scaling operations in Azure SQL Manage instance. Instance scaling simply means that you're adding more resources to your existing database instance. A typical usage scenarios when you want to do instance scaling, when you want to add more resources are you want to fix a performance incident. So when a classic troubleshooting technique such as fixing your query plan do not work, you can always uh, increase the instance resources to temporarily uh, provide relief uh, to a database workload. Usage spikes and seasonality, such as, for example, uh, Black Friday. Optimizing usage over time as your data grows or as the usage changes, you may need to add more uh, or reduce the resources you have to optimize your costs. Key challenge when talking about instance scaling is about elasticity. Typically on premises, it is very hard to change the resources assigned to a database instance. So sometimes you have to provision for the peak capacity, which is not always simple or possible. In addition, there are two types of, of scaling operations in Azure SQL. Vertical scaling means adding more resources to an existing instance. Uh, it could be compute resources, storage resources, etc. And when that no longer cuts it, when you've reached the limits of what a single instance can provide, you can also con consider horizontal scaling or sharding, as it's sometimes referred to it, which can increase the capacity and the resources assigned to your application by adding more instances beyond uh, the original capacity. Azure SQL Manage Instance provides 100% online scaling operations. And this is extremely important because your workload can continue uninterrupted while the scaling operations are performed. You initiate your scaling operation, and while the operation is ongoing in the background, your instance remains online and your application continues to run uninterrupted. This was pretty much unimaginable in the on-premises world just a couple of years ago, and now it's a modus operandi, it's the default in Azure SQL Managed Instance. Uh, once your scaling operation completes, there's going to be connectivity switch over to the new instance or a short disconnect of your existing connections. But the downtime can be minimized with proper retry logic, either in your application or in the drivers you're using. And most of the new drivers already had the retry logic built in. Now, there are three different kinds of scaling operations in SQL Manage Instance. You can change your instance service tier. You can move from general purpose to business critical and back if you want to. Then there's also, you can change the hardware generation for your managed instance. You can choose between standard series, premium series, and memory optimized premium series. And then you can also change the resources assigned to your instance. You can change the number of vCores, and you can change the reserve storage. Let's take a look at a quick demo. I have the Azure portal open for my managed instance, and I will move to the compute and storage page where I can see all of the resource configurations I have available for my instance. As you can see, this instance has been configured as a general purpose instance with standard series hardware, AB cores of compute, and about two terabytes of storage. Now let's assume I want to update the hardware for this instance to run on premium series hardware, which uh, provides Intel Ice Lake, latest Intel CPUs, and more memory, seven gigabytes memory per week core compared to 5.1, which will um, improve the performance of my workload. All I have to do is choose the configuration I want, I can also take more CPUs or perhaps stay with eight and see if premium series with eight V cores is good enough for my workload. Confirm that I have the licenses, scroll to the very bottom, review and click apply. This will launch the online scaling operation in the background and I will be notified once the operation is complete. And all the while my workload can continue to run un uninterrupted. Very easy, very simple and very powerful. That's all for the demo. And if you want to learn more, you can check the SQL Manage Instance videos and docs, and also learn more about the scaling operations using the links provided. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.